The Southeast Asian country of Cambodia has experienced war and conflict throughout its history. It became independent from France in 1953, but from the 1970s onwards suffered from the effects of invasion, civil war and the genocidal Khmer Rouge regime. The end of the Cold War brought the possibility of peace for Cambodia and diplomatic negotiations began. Over time, the warring factions and the international community agreed on an arrangement in which Cambodian sovereignty was vested in a supreme national council made up of members from the different parties. The deal was signed in 1991 and became known as the Paris Agreements. To facilitate the agreement, the United Nations passed a resolution establishing the United Nations Advanced Mission in Cambodia, which was a precursor to the larger United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia, deployed in 1992. Australia had been heavily involved in the diplomacy that led to the Paris Agreement, and the government was keen to follow up with military support. The United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia was established to monitor the ceasefire, assist refugees to return to their homes, help with the removal of landmines, and oversee the subsequent general election. It was a large multinational force, consisting of 12 infantry battalions and support units, military observers, and civilian police, totaling 22,000 personnel from 32 different countries. The military component was commanded by an Australian officer, Lieutenant General John Sanderson. Australia provided 488 personnel to the first contingent of the Force Communications Unit and personnel from the Australian Army, Royal Australian Navy and Royal Australian Air Force, together with members of the New Zealand Army, all served on tours of varying duration. The deployment was tense. The warring factions of Cambodia were well armed and the Australians served in difficult conditions in remote parts of a war-torn country often subject to attack or intimidation from hostile groups. By July 1992, the Khmer Rouge had effectively withdrawn from the peace agreement and was feared to disrupt operations. Australia's contribution increased as the election came closer. Between May and September 1992, Australia sent a movement control group with members from the three services and Australian federal police officers between May and July 1993, the period covering the general election, the government sent an additional 115 Australian personnel and six Black Hawk helicopters. Cambodia had not had a free election since the early 1950s and did not have a democratic tradition. To help with the upcoming general elections, Australia also sent staff from the Australian Electoral Commission to set up and oversee the vote. By January 1993, almost all Cambodians who were eligible to vote had registered, and when the general election took place in May, 90% turned out to vote. Considered a success, the United Nations Transitional Authority began withdrawing from Cambodia in late 1993.